Hello friends, this is Anush Chahan. Now we will talk about normalization. Normalization is a process of organizing data into database to avoid redundancy or duplicacy. It can be of many kinds, insert anomaly, delete anomaly, update anomaly. When we normalize the database, we have many kinds of goals. First one is arranging data into logical grouping such as each group describe a smaller part of the whole. Organizing the data such that when you modify it, you make the changes only in one place. Building a database in which you can access and manipulate the data quickly and efficiently without compromising the integrity of your data in storage. Minimizing the amount of duplicate data called redundancy stored in a database. So, uh, normalization, the advantages, various advantages of normalization are there. There, there would be no redundancy. There, uh, it free, it frees the database from certain add, edit and delete anomalies. It allows the operation, operation needed for data access to be simpler than they would otherwise have to be. It avoids biasing the database design in favor of certain queries at the expense of others. It makes the database more informative to users including different users making different queries. So now we will talk about 1NF. First normal form. So first normal form all the fields of database, database table must be atomic. Atomic means not be further subdivided. So a table is in 1NF if the values if in the domain of each attribute of the relation are atomic. In other words, only one value is associated with each attribute and the value is not a set of values or a list of values. Or more simpler, we can say a relation is in one NF if if it does not have no is if it does not have any repeating groups. So first normal form. So we have an example here, a student table. So there are three fields: roll number, name, and marks. So uh, roll number one zero one, one zero two, and one zero three contains A, B, C, and respective marks. So here marks. 1900, 17, 30, 40. So these are multi-valued fields. So 19, it contains 101, a name, A, contains 1917 marks. So this is not being first normal form. So we have to make it in first normal form. So decomposed into this marks 1, marks 2 and marks 3. So is marks field is decomposed into marks 1, marks 2 and marks 3 to it their respective marks. So these are atomic fields which can't be further subdivided. So this is first normal form. Now uh, every non-prime attribute should be functionally dependent to prime attribute attributes. So marks 1, marks 2, marks 3 they all are functionally dependent on prime attribute like roll number or we can say name so it should be in 1nf uniquely defined so now we are talk about second nf or second normal form non prime attribute should be functionally dependent on prime attribute prime attribute is uniquely identify each record in a table should be in 1NF second normal form should be in 1NF so it's uh, example here this roll number name address and marks so roll number prime attribute and name address and marks are non prime attribute so non prime attribute should be functionally dependent on prime attribute so now we'll talk about third normal form 
this includes the property of transitive dependency so every normal form should be uh, satisfy the condition of its previous normal form so it should be in second normal form also so there should not be transitive functional dependency uh, we have example here employee id employee name employee department employee name or department name and department manager so employee department is dependent on uh, department name and uh, department manager name is dependent on department name so employee department id are dependent on department manager name so these are functional dependent on each other but there should not be transitive functional dependency so we decompose into the further table that is employee department id so department name and department name to department manager name so first and second table so there should not be transitive functional dependency now for nf that is fourth normal form or multi valued so it should satisfy the third normal form so uh, we have example here roll number name marks and addition so if roll number 192 contains this type of marks 15 16 17 18 and 19 so roll number field contains multi value marks okay multi value dependency mvd occurs when two or more independent multi valued facts about the same attribute occur within the same relation so uh, mvd multi valued here mark uh, marks marks field contains uh, respective marks of roll number same roll number 192 so this is multi valued field now bcnf bcnf it contains no multi value dependency bcnf contains no multi valued dependency now fifth normal form so fifth normal form a relation is in fifth normal form if it is in fourth fourth that is fourth normal form and cannot be further non loss decomposed more technically in 5nf we use the concept of join natural join dependency which is a generalized form of multi valued dependency so a relation schema r is in fifth normal form 5nf or project natural join form pjnf with respect to a set of functional f multi valued and join dependency if for every non trivial join dependency that is jds r1 r2 up to rn in function function positive that is implied by function every ri is a super key of r that we have a example here that is department id and department name and department manager name and department name so their department name department name is a same similar values as in original table so we can we can apply natural join here it should not lose any value in the derived table so this is 5nf so fifth normal form hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe it thanks for watching